this video is on how to create a navigation bar based on the examples from the W3School website. As you can see before you, I've got an HTML document and I've got a style sheet that I've already attached. You can see that it's attached right here. And what I'm going to do is take you to the W3Schools website. Now, this is the organization of web developers that set the standards for the web. As you can see here, the world's largest web developer site. And what I'm going to do is go here in the navigation bar, learn CSS. Then I'm going to look for menu. So I'm scrolling down till I find menu navigation bar. That's what I'm looking for, navigation bar. So I'm going to click here. Now it gives you a few examples here, vertical and horizontal, and I want to do this one here. So the first thing it's asking you to do is copy this code. This navigation bar is based on an unordered list, and this is the HTML for an unordered list. So I'm going to copy this edit copy I'm going to go back to Dreamweaver put it in my body tag so I am going to copy and paste that code right here edit paste now they have given you some links here that obviously we're going to need to change but the next thing that I want to do back here Okay, it does give you some information. You certainly could read all this information, but I'm going to flip down here just to the horizontal navigation bar example. Again, it walks you through how this is built, but I'm going to scroll all the way down till I get the full example, which is right here. And I'm going to copy all this CSS code. So I'm going to start at the beginning and I'm going to go all the way to the end here and I'm going to go edit copy. I'm going to go back to Dreamweaver. I'm going to open up my CSS file. After the commenting text, the gray commenting text, I'm going to hit the return key and I'm going to paste. If I click in Design View, you can see that I've got the navigation bar. If I preview in the web, and save, and save, okay, you can see the navigation bar. Let me fix my browser here, actual size. Okay, so there's a navigation bar. Now, the default behavior, again, is to go all the way to the end. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this navigation bar around the nav tag, which is basically a div, an empty box. So I'm going to move this out of the way, close that, and I'm going to go back to my HTML code. I'm going to select that unordered list, and then I'm going to go insert navigation, and maybe this will be my main navigation bar, so I'm going to call it main I could even say main nav, and I'm going to say OK. That sets up the name or the class for that. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to style this nav with a class of main nav. I'm going to open up my CSS designer. You can already see the code that was added when we did this. Going back here, I'm going to put my cursor right there. I'm going to add the selector. I can see the class name here. I'm going to go into the layout properties and I'm going to give it a width. And just so you can see it easily in my Dreamweaver application, I'm going to make it fairly small, maybe 600, but you could change it to whatever pixels you want it to be. And you can see that since I added the nav, it's going to be the parent element of the unordered list and it's going to control the unordered list because it's going to inherit the attributes that I gave to the, the nav class equals main nav. Let me go ahead and preview in the web. And there you go. 
Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and get rid of this default, the default links in here. So I'm going to open up my properties panel. I'm going to click on this link and I'll actually do it here. I'm just going to get rid of these links and for right now I'm just going to put a pseudo link in there so I know I have to change that later. I'll do the same for news, put a pseudo link in there and I'm doing this because I don't know the pages I want these to go to for right now. And the pseudo link is just a placeholder link and I'll do the last one here. And obviously I could change the text. Maybe I don't want news. I could either change the text here or I can come right into code. And maybe I want this to be facts. And that changes it over here as well. Okay, so that's a simple way of creating a navigation bar based on the W3 Schools website. Okay, I'm back at this website. I highly recommend that you do read through the information here. It does say there are two ways to create a horizontal navigation bar using inline or float. Uh, in class we've talked about inline for the most part and it does explain how to go about that. Um, I'll let you read that for yourself but you can see that this example is actually using float. Okay don't forget that you can restyle this default navigation bar, the styles. So if I look at my CSS designer and if I go to the unordered list tag here or selector, you can see this is where the background was set. So I could come in here and change it to whatever I wanted it to be. And again, if I preview in the web, save, yes, Okay, I can also change the hover. So let me go ahead and do that. Back here, hover. This is where that black is located. So maybe I'll do a dark red for that. The return key. And I'll go ahead and preview once again. And save. And there you go. You can see how it's changed from black to that really dark maroon. Okay, continuing on. What I want to do is take that nav bar and I actually want to integrate it into this simple layout. This is an HTML document that I've already got a style sheet attached to. You can see that I have just applied some simple styling. So let's look at the HTML first. So I'm going to open this up a little bit. You can see that I've got a main container that's wrapping around all the nested divs. I've got a header tag where I've got an H1 inside of it. Then I've got a nav tag, which is right here that has some paragraph text in it. Then I've got another container right here that I called content parent that's got a section in it and an aside with some paragraph text. And finally, I've got a footer that has an H3 in it and here's the end of that class container. Okay, let me go ahead and make this bigger. You can just see the simple styles that I added to the background colors as well. If I open up the CSS designer, you could go through here and you could see the different styles I added. Um, also, I what I did here is I used the universal selector and I got rid of any default padding or margin. If I go to the style sheet, you, at the top here, you can see where I did that. All right, so now what I'm going to do is go back to my source code or my HTML code, and I'm gonna go back to the W3 schools. Okay, I'm at the W3 schools. I'm in the nav bar area, and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna scroll down till I find that HTML code for the unordered list. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. So I'm going to go edit, copy, I'm going to go back to Dreamweaver. And what I want to do is put that in my code in between the beginning of the nav tag and the end. So I'm going to actually get rid of that paragraph that I put in there earlier. 
hitting the delete key and I'm going to hit the return key again doesn't matter if you've got spaces in code the browser will just ignore them and then I'm going to go edit paste okay I can see where it was added here in design view it's an unstyled unordered list now I'm going to go to the W3 school and I'm going to pick up the styles. So I'm going back to the W3 schools and I'm going to flip to horizontal nav bar here. I'm going to scroll all the way down till I find all the styles. Okay, here's the horizontal nav bar example. And I'm going to pick up all the CSS styles. So I'm selecting here, going all the way down to this curly bracket and going edit copy. Going back to my style sheet right here. And at the end of my code here or my rules, I'm gonna hit the return key and I'm gonna go edit paste. Okay, and here it is in my layout. Don't forget, you could go to your CSS designer and you could modify the styles that we just added. I also want to note that when I open up the CSS designer, note that I had not set up any sort of style for the nav tag. Okay, so it was just being braced open at that point uh, by the text that I had in there earlier. I had a paragraph text in there. so. All the nav tag was doing in my layout was just sort of acting as a box, an unstyled box for that navigation. All right, again, you could go ahead and change things. And just for one example, I could go to the unordered list here. I could go to the background properties and I could change the background color to whatever I wanted it to be. Maybe I want to make it kind of a gold color and dark gold. And I'm actually going to use the eyedropper and I'm going to select that gold, maybe go to a darker range of that color. And I made that switch. All right, how to integrate a simple nav bar into a layout.